fans, and welcome to another edition of the Super. I am Eddie Kwan, and with me as always is the man they call Sam. You know, I'd like to take this opportunity to just clear the air here. Okay. Because uh, I feel like there's a lot of tension here between us. And I feel like there's there's going to be a lot of people who are writing about us, saying that we have unresolved issues, saying that we beat the shit out of each other backstage. Yeah. I just want to I want to make it make it clear, all right? We are friends. God, it hurts to say it, but we are friends. Wow. Have you heard anything you've said past like ten years that I've known your existence? No, you, should be, you should be privileged to call me a friend. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> Mr. Humans friend. don't breathe oxygen. Uh, no, I, uh, I did not say that. That's fake news. But anyway, point is, is that we are friends, yeah? Yes. Right. And we're going to do a show now, and we're going to have a good time, yeah? Yes. Right. This is what needs to happen at AEW, don't you think, <laughs> Andrew? Well, you would think so, because everyone in AEW apparently hates each other. Everyone fucking hates each other. Let's just get right into this, all right? This this encompasses like five different stories, so let's just rattle it off as I can think of them. Uh, Eddie Kingston punched Sammy Guevara backstage after Sammy Guevara called him a fat ass. Excellent. So that's going really well there. Good man. Good job, Eddie. Nah, for real though. Fuck Sammy Guevara. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> fucking Giga Chad fucking like Giga oh my god I can't stand him I really can't fucking asshole king of shit mountain fucking wow. Sammy Guevara he is the Spanish asshole mountain shit man god new character um, yep. next what's the next exam uh, Thunder Rosa and Britt Baker apparently legitimately hate each other to the point where they can't even be in the same room. And Britt Excellent. Baker's firing off shoot, shoot, pew, pew promos on Dynamite about her. Because as we know, from this past week's Dynamite, Thunder Rosa had to vacate the Women's Championship and we will be getting an interim champion. Because that went so well the first time. They're doing it again, Andrew. They're doing it again. They did it once, and they can't be stopped. They've got a hunger. Tony. They've got a taste for it. They're doing Tony. it again. Tony. Tony. Here I am, Tony Khan. And I am <laughs> Elton. <laughs> what? What's up? What do you want to say to Big Tone? Big Tone. Big Tones. Yes. <laughs> Tones, just chill. Yeah, calm it down for two no. seconds. Yeah? No, I will not. Stop trying to fucking hug me. I don't want to be touched. CM Punk is the biggest draw in human history. I didn't mention CM Punk, Tony. I'm, I'm turning just... into John Laurinaitis. Tony, are you okay? Do you want to, do you want to like a frozen? No, I'm turning into Bernie Sanders. Oh, God, Tony, are you okay? Richard Defender, Bernie. Oh, go to listen to Off the Air if you don't understand what that is and why he finds <laughs> it so funny. Tony, um, Tony, Tony. What the fuck doing... do you want, Andy? What do you want to say to Tony? Stop doing interim titles for fuck's sake. No. I have to do more. Why, more of though, them. you stupid bastard? <laughs> no, it's fair, though, because they have finished their, uh, their spate of interim champions with the main event, haven't they? Oh, God, so let's talk about that then. So the main event saw the end of the interim AW World Championship when CM Punk, the supposed legitimate AW World Champion, faced off against John Moxley, the supposedly interim AEW World Champion, in a big match that everyone thought would be a blow-off on a pay-per-view, some sort of big-scale event. you think it would go on for maybe like half an hour. We'd be getting oh, was, a clinic... That we'll was be getting the loudest, a full epic match. That was the loudest crowd reaction I've ever heard for a very long time. With the Moxley and CM Punk chats at the start. And I'm like, you're putting this on live TV for free? What are you, a fucking idiot? And then three minutes later, no, you're a fucking idiot, Andrew, says Why? Tony Khan. Because John Moxley defeated CM Punk in, I counted, two and a half minutes to become... The undisputed AEW World Champion. What the fuck? <laughs> what is going on? It sounds like that whole company is fucking imploding. It's almost as if, and I don't, I love AEW, but oh, in really? the past, do in you? The, 
What? Sorry, he spent the past two years riding its dick or nothing, but you know. Oh, God. But here's the thing. It's almost like building a company around people who were all friends was a really good idea until you start bringing in other people who are not friends. <laughs> so... You know what's what a really you... good idea, Andrew? What's that then, Sam? Assuming friendships last, that's the mistake they made. Because oh. friendships don't last. If there's anything we know as people, friendships expire. People turn on each other. People hate each other sometimes, in the worst case scenarios. That's just humans. That's just people. Happens gonna happen to us at some point. When we hit 50, we're gonna fucking hate each other. Prepare yourself for that reality. That's you get very, it over and done that's, with. That's a very specific time. It might be sooner, depending on how the fucking shows go, but <laughs> neither here nor there. Point is, right, right, don't, right, right. don't just assume everyone's going to be fucking buddy-buddy and like each other. This is a big point that I've had with AEW for a while. They've been, they've been stirring up drama. We've been hearing about it between Hangman Page and CM Punk. We've been hearing about it between Eddie Kingston and anyone he looks at. We've been hearing about it with various people backstage. And it's like, I don't really care if all of these people actually like each other for realsies. I also don't give a fuck if they all hate each other. What I care about is if they put on a good fucking wrestling show and a good product to watch on television. I am I completely disagree. I think it's actually going to make things even No, but better. I don't fucking care if Robert Downey Jr. and Josh Brolin actually hate each other. Yeah, but there's a difference. It's like Brett and Shaw and everyone loved that shit. But did they, though? Yes. I thought people found it fucking exhausting. No, it's fine. Everyone loved it. It was great. Nothing yeah, bad it never resulted in any problems and they all turned out to be well-adjusted individuals. After about 30 years, yeah. After but, 30 you know. years, exactly the fucking point. But they got there, they not... got there in the end. That's yeah, but we're point. not in the end, we're in now, and now it sucks. Because everyone fucking hates each other, and I don't get why. Why, though? What's the deal? I believe it's a man problem, a man's problem. His a name is CM Punk. A man's problem among men, because, oh, uh, yes, well-known, uh, happy man... Oh, 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 he's just happy and jolly all the time. Well, friendly Chris Kringle old CM Punk. Thank you, car that drove past, you fuckwit. He has made a career out of just having many friends and not pissing off anybody. Right? Yeah, yeah, he's 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 never burnt any bridges or anything. He's just been the height of happy. Happy, happy punk. He's not CM Cunt by any stretch of the imagination. They're not my words. They are Eddie Kingston's on Twitter. Okay, he's a happy, happy. Well, yeah, but Eddie Kingston person. is a is a is a lone example because he kayfabe doesn't exist with him. He will have you believe that he hates everybody. And to be fair, he probably does, and that's fine. <laughs> I don't care. What I care about is if they put on a good fucking wrestling product. That's what I care about. Have they been? Yeah, I'd say so. It's had, it's had its ups, it's had its downs. More ups than downs. But I'd say it's good. But I don't care about the fucking interpersonal relationships. I'm not playing fucking Persona. I'm not playing the fucking Sims. I'm not, I don't care about the friendship levels. All I care about is if you're able to put on a good match and not sandbag each other when you go out there. Like certain people have done. I... It's whole, it just comes across as really trashy and mismanaged and a mess. I think it reflects badly on the company. I think Tony Khan needs to get his shit in order, to be fair. Like, and to be, I heard that they did a... Because Dave, things are happening, Meltzer said that there was some sort of uh, meeting before this Dynamite where it was basically a talent meeting i think i think they claim referenced it in their rap that nobody got um and it, they it didn't was, listen it was like a big rah-rah kind of speech going we're all friends fucking get on but listen up fuckheads we're all gonna get along we're gonna hold hands we're gonna sing around a bonfire and we're gonna resurrect ring of honor from its grave and i'm gonna be the one that does it the thing is i feel like tony should be like 
to take. I don't like Dana White anymore, but the like, young Dana White was alright. <laughs> yeah, but Dana yeah. White was like, if you don't want to, if you don't want. <laughs> I don't like Dana White anymore. He's a prick. What? Oh, he... Mark, <laughs> You've when never he was younger, known him. He... How the fuck can you say if you like him or not? Oh, he's a Trump supporter, and he's so fuck him. Um, I mean, it's but... just safe to assume at this point. Dana, like back in the day, was like, if you don't want to fucking be here, then just go away. Just fuck off. I don't want you here. I feel like that's what um, Tony needs to be like. It's like, if you don't want to be here, just fuck off. Go away. Like, I, 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 you want out? Get out. Just just go. Quick. Go away. Fuck off. And this is, the, the, there are many ideas that I think are happening with Punk. Either A, he's fucking off after one year. Two, he's turning heel. Well, this is an interesting perspective, because as we know, we browse the Squared Circle Reddit, oh. and we see all of these posts on there that are basically saying, hasn't CM Punk technically been a heel this entire time? Wasn't MJF basically a face for that feud? <laughs> to which I say, you know what? Fair point, actually. You do have a point. Because looking at it, if you look at it from a certain perspective... CM Punk can be seen as being, like, a facetious, like, disingenuous, like, he's happy to be back, but at the same time, the way he's been feuding with certain people, like MJF, like, with Hangman Page, with John Moxley, uh, Eddie Kingston, there's, like, there's, there's a disrespect to him, but, like, it's, like, condescending almost, <laughs> and it's, like, a really, it's, like, a clever character study. And I feel like this is going to lead into, like, you know, the traditional fucking heel turn, which, ironically, could all be started from a kick that he did on his heel that now hurts, apparently. But that's another <laughs> element of the story is, did he come back from injury too early? What if it is a work? What if it is a shoot? Again, I don't care about any of that shit. What I care about is if the product is good. And is it good right now? Yeah, it's got us talking. It's got everyone I, fucking that's, talking. That's, the, whole, that's, the whole place that... went fucking nuts in the two and a half minute match that ended <laughs> just randomly. Like, well, that was fucking thing. crazy. Like, I can't remember, I don't, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I feel like AEW has not done this sort of, like, I don't want to call it a Brock Lesnar two-minute or Goldberg two-minute match, but... The, the only instance of it that I can think of before this was when uh, Malachi Black fought Cody Rhodes that one time. Yeah, that's it, sorry, there was And that was, like, a sub-five-minute match. Like, that, that still, it was short, but it wasn't a squash. Yeah, well, like they both what? had moments of offense there. I mean, the only the only plus side is like you could argue Punk. that this match itself was back and forth right until that spot where Punk supposedly re-injured his foot, and, it and then did from take... then on it was just a fucking uh, a beating from John Moxley to it... Death Riders later, yeah, and he pins it, yeah. him for one two three. Like that from that from that point on, it's a squash. But if you just watched like up until that spinning heel kick. Like, if you just watched up until that point, I could say, yeah, that's the first minute and a half of a main event match that probably went on for, like, 20 minutes. I could believe that. So it's all about the storytelling. I'm, I'm very curious to see where it's going. But I'm also very happy that John Moxley is the one that, you know, came out on top of that. Yeah, I, I, I don't think Punk needs any more title, to be fair. He doesn't, uh... really. Like, he's problem... got his own character going there. You've got an inbuilt feud with MJF when he comes back, assuming he does, because it's been radio silence for like three months. He might be dead for all we know. He might be replaced <laughs> by someone who looks kind of similar. Conspiracy theories, hint, hint. But yeah, I just feel like there's enough that you can do with Punk where he doesn't need that world title. And we've seen that John Moxley can carry the fucking company as as good as anybody else. Yeah, so, I, and, and, and I feel and, like I, it's I... fine the way it is. Uh, I, uh, the only the only downside to this, I suppose, is 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 Moxie at the same level of Punk? Because if you have like say a world title match and then you have a CM Punk match and Punk gets a bigger reaction and stuff like that, then technically speaking, Punk is more over. So then well, does it doesn't it really matter of... who's more over out of the two. What matters is that they are at least at an equal playing field. Like, if you have CM Punk coming out and having his matches and everyone's really into that, but then you also have the AEW championship picture be really fucking good and everyone's into that, I feel like you've got the best of both there. 
And you got plenty of good stuff in the mid card and the undercard as well. So I feel like AEW's like depend depending on whether they all hate each other or not, regardless, yeah. they are hitting a stride with their product at the moment. I just figured out what happened. Oh, it's, it's, he's figured it out. He put two and two together and he got the best of both. What happened, Andrew? Right. Tony. Pretend you're Tony. Tony. What? <laughs> we can't rely on CM Punk to be world champion because he's 45 years old. He's probably going to break his hand next. So what we're going to do is we need to put Moxley over. How can we do that? Who the fuck allowed you into my office? What is your name? Uh, my name is... Uh, uh, Shmoney Schman. Well, it's very lovely to meet you, Shmoney Schman. Maybe we can go out for drinks after this. Did you know that I bought Ring of Honor and I intend to bring it back to what it used to be? I hope you can, Tony. I didn't pay for the pay-per-view, though, because I was on holiday. Well, you're a piece of shit. No, I I was on holiday. Holiday. Okay, I did not know this. Yes, Jesus, Tony. Anyway. Where is this going? Where this is going is you have to put Moxley over by beating Punk in two minutes and then Moxley becomes fucking brilliant. And then That's a great then... idea, Shmoney. I feel like we should do that. Yes. Have you had any cocaine, bro? Shut up! Okay. <laughs> what was that? I don't that know. That was fucking terrible. Um, That's what that was. That was the worst I could I could feel the viewership go down. Yeah. But anyway... People in AEW may all hate each other and they may all want to fight each other for realsies, but where can we do that, Andrew? I will tell you because you don't know the structure of this show. So, AEW's Fight Forever video game has released its gameplay footage. Have you seen it? Yes, it looks very good. You think so? It looks very good. You think so? It's very good. Interesting, Andrew. Why? I think it's a bit weird. Why is it a bit weird, Sam? I think it looks very odd, right? Okay, so it's being developed by Ukes. We know this. We know the story. We know the story of the fucking WWE video game with Ukes and all of that, but... Okay. I feel like with this one, compare WWE SmackDown vs. Raw. Like, compare that series for a sec. Okay. And then you take WWE All Stars, which was on a completely different end of the spectrum in terms of visuals. And then you just squeeze them together like Play Doh, so they form this weird looking new color that you're not even sure exists. That's the vibe I get from this Fight Forever footage. Like, the, the models are like they're kind of realistic looking, but then they're also built different. That's all I can say. It's like a weird human approximation that you'd make in like CGI. It doesn't look like it was based on a real person. And some of like the way the people move in that, like it looks really sluggish in spots. Like, it's well, just it's, animations it's, it's, linking animations. It doesn't feel fluid at all. It, I mean, it's a work in progress, though, isn't it? It's not as if it's done, done. I mean, if it looked like that and it's... Oh, well, if it came out today, I'd be fucking pissed. It looks like oh, a yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. poorly made Switch port. But <laughs> I'm just going off of what I'm seeing here. I'm like, there's no way of knowing what it's going to look like in the future. But I feel like at least the visual style is locked in at this point. They're not going to drastically change that. But I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I if don't, it gives me know. Uncanny Valley. That's honestly what it gives me. It gives me Uncanny Valley, and I don't like looking at it. And that's a problem. Especially when it's a video game that you have to look at with your eyeballs if you want to play it. I, I don't know what your problem is. I, I think it looks fine. I don't know what the fuck you expect. What are you expecting? It's a wrestling game. Like what? I don't get I it. guess because I've gotten so accustomed to the 2K series basically being like a realistic looking sim. Yeah, but I, 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 I welcome not realistic. I, I No, I'm, that... I'm not saying that it's bad by any means. I'm saying that like, you can have things that look like All-Stars. You can have like 8-bit like uh, wrestling games. You can have things that aren't like realistic life simulators. Yeah, but like... But this is... Do you know what the I, Uncanny not... Valley is, right? Yeah, but I'm not, I'm not being funny, but the 2K games until this year have been uh, bago wank. So... No, 2K19 was good. I'll maintain that that was a good game. But the issue, but the issue is, if you compare it to uh, your No Mercies, like the best of all time, 
<laughs> you mean my clunky piece of shit that's aged poorly, Andrew. <laughs> Fucking WWF. Saco. Diggity dog. Dick, 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 dog. Marok. Hit it. It's so good. What's wrong with you? Why can't oh, you sorry, like because this Because I, I have the benefit of not growing up with it. So yeah. I don't have the nostalgia blindness for you two. It's that thing, blindness. that it's that piece of shit game. looks fucking awful now. And I bet it's really bad to play. Here comes the pain is still fucking amazing. Is that the one where Brock Lesnar goes on Bizarre Adventures backstage? I think you're thinking of a different game. But oh, they had like five different Smackdown games. They're all fucking indistinguishable from each other. You can put them all in a pile and I wouldn't know which one it fucking is. Wow. Smackdown, just bring it. Smackdown, here comes the pain. Smackdown, just brush your teeth. Smackdown, call a doctor. Smackdown. It's all the fucking ass. same. No, they're all they're all they're all different. Besides, like, when it got to like Smackdown versus Raw, that's when it fucking fell off a cliff. No, I'd argue that the Smackdown vs. Raw games, there's good shit in there. <sighs> like the road to WrestleMania stories. The point Tony. is. This... This game... If it weren't for SmackDown vs. Raw, we wouldn't have Tony, alright? Put it in that put it in that way. I miss just the like the wackiness, the zaniness of some of it. And I feel like AEW's gonna have plenty of that because they've unleashed uh or they've released rather. They've released footage of like mini games. Like yes, baseball mini games and other shit, and it looks really like Yakuza, like really wacky looking. I can appreciate that. But I, I, just, I can't get past the visuals. Like, they're not wacky enough. You need to go full, like, all-stars if you really want to go oh, for that look. No, no, Don't try no. and weirdly, like, squeeze Adam Cole out of Play-Doh. Because that's, that's what they look like. They look like Morph. They, they look, look like look fucking like Morph fucking from Morph. Art Attack. No, that's what they, they look like to don't. me. Like, I don't know, not... they just they don't look appealing to me, and I hope that I can just get used to it, but I feel like I'm not the only person that thinks this. Okay, well, I... You want my opinion? I think it's the best video game ever made, and I will uh, buy five copies and give no, them all no, to my wait, family. Wait, 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 wait. I will buy a copy I, for my cat, and we will play two player together. If my cat can fucking do that, then my cat should. My cat is gonna make me a millionaire. I'll start with the bad. So. Yeah, get to my level. <laughs> okay. The entrances being really, really uh, short. Yeah, that's what? another thing. They're like they're the like, TNA oh, well, Impact video games where it's just like five seconds of them standing on the ramp and then it just fades out. Like, I'm, why? I'm like, that's my favorite, one of my favorite bits to like do. It. Like, you said you can create any entrance or customize them. And I'm like, okay. But you can customize two... any five second entrance that you want. Yeah. I'm like, how the. Well, that's just. What? That's making me as well not have it. Um, the well, other, I mean, we can I'll, only other... assume that that might just be for the trailer. Like, you never know. Like, there's footage of Adam Cole doing his entrance in the ring, whereas Kenny Omega does it at the top of a ramp, so you, you can argue that there's probably just bits they're cutting out, because we don't need uh, to see Adam Cole walk to the ring. But, you know, the I other... feel like... I feel like the animations... The animations during the entrance and the animations during the matches feel completely different to me. I don't know whether it's mocap or whether it's something else they've done, but it's just there's, there's a certain... There's a quality upgrade there. I I don't like the fact there's no cage match. There's no cage match? There's no cage match. You've got single, tag team, three-way, four-way, ladder, casino battle royale, falls count anywhere, unsanctioned lights out, and exploding barbed wire death match. Cause that oh my really fucking well. god, they put that in the game? <laughs> but they didn't put a cage match in the game. So... I really I... hope that they have the same shitty fucking finish that they had in real life just in the game. <laughs> spoof, spoof. Just fucking Gilbert sparklers go off and the ring slightly <laughs> collapses. <laughs> like, even in the realm of fiction, they can't make it look good. Oh, I don't know. I, I, I mean, I, I I'm, think... uh, let's face it, make or break steel cage, nah. TLC? Nah. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't call it TLC. It's got to be nah. named something different. Um, uh, I don't know. I'm not I'm I, not too I... mad. Because I'm used to the WWE games never having a Punjabi prison. You know? Yeah. Like, I'm I, used I, to the I... WWE games not having an Inferno match for, like, 12 years. I'm used I, to I... things not being in a game. I, I welcome a new wrestling game that isn't fucking WWE. Or and this is the like... first one. 
bearing in mind. Yeah. It's the first like, one they're, they're doing, so they're gonna they're, they're gonna be, be able to improve on it. Do I get this for PC or do I get it for my Xbox? I'd say get it for console. Fight forever. So yeah, I mean, I as much as we're bashing it, I I. I no, I mean, you're not. Really... I am. I, can, I can't understand it's completely down to uh, my eyeballs I, and what I, I see I, with them. But I want to give it a chance. So do I. I really hope it's good, because as anyone would know, I've put up with a lot of shit from 2K, right? I've had to deal with 2K20 for two fucking years. <laughs> it's the longest two years of my entire life, exacerbated by a fucking pandemic. It was terrible. I want something that's good. I want something new. I want something where the WWE 2K fucking department can look at it and be like, Ooh, that's a good idea. We should maybe do that. I'm Barry. Huh? You know? <laughs> I want things to be good. I'm not saying I want them to be bad. I'm just looking at it and I'm thinking, This looks weird. I don't know why that is. Oh, people don't like change. Well, speaking of change, oh, and looking at things thing? going, Hmm, that's weird. There's a new championship, Andrew. Oh, not another one. I know, we just did the belt rankings. You couldn't have done it oh, like a year no, from now. I mean, I mean, I just don't want any more titles, please. This, well, it doesn't affect you because it's for New Japan Pro Wrestling. Oh, I don't care, then, excellent. Excellent. This is, in a landmark decision, the IWGP Women's Championship. Oh, okay, well, that is quite, that is quite a big deal. So the backstory of this is that for those who maybe don't know, Japan has gendered wrestling promotions for the most part. You have male wrestlers in one company, you have, uh, they call it Joshi wrestlers in another company, who are all women. It's just how it's been. And maybe many have said, oh, is that a bit sexist? Oh, I'm Andy Guan, the social justice knob. But <laughs> it's a cultural thing. It's just a cultural thing. That's how I see it. That's what you are. That's what you are. <laughs> oh, the New Day theme is racist. Oh, I love Kendrick Lamar. Oh, that's how, that's how you I sound. I do love Kendrick Lamar. What the fuck oh, good for Kendrick you, Lamar? buddy. We're talking about the IWGP, <laughs> which is New Japan's uh, kayfabe Fa governing Fa body. Governing body, which is bizarre. But go ahead. They have a women's championship. Because the New Japan promotion has been partnering with Stardom, which is the largest women's promotion, I believe, in that side of the country. So, they have the IWGP Women's Championship. They will be uh, crowning a winner in a uh, tournament in London at Crystal Palace at Royal <laughs> Quest 2. What? So they're not even doing it in Japan? The tournament begins. Oh, it begins in England. It begins in London. And then it goes into Japan. And then the finals take place at the uh, the New Japan Stardom Historic Crossover Joint Show in November. The title will be defended on New Japan shows, with the first title defense taking place at Wrestle Kingdom on January the 4th. It may be defended on Stardom shows. It will not rank higher than Stardom's current top titles which are the World of Stardom Championship and the Wonder of Stardom Championship. The Wonder Star... I don't know where I'm going with that. <laughs> you, you, you barely know anything of what I'm saying, do you? You don't really speak English right now, do you? <laughs> you have no You're... clue. I want you to look at this belt. I want you to look at this and just oh, tell me what you think it. of the design. Because that's what we do best here. We look at title designs and we say... Is that hmm. actually what it's going to look like? Yeah, you'd let me guess. You don't like it. What in the fucking name of God is that? Oh, for God's sakes, Andrew. It's based off of the second version of the IWGP no, Heavyweight Championship. No, no, no. What is... It hurts my eyes, Sam. No, it fucking doesn't. Grow a it pair. Does. What are you looking at? It's fine. It, it's awful. It's not awful. It is. It's not awful. It truly is awful. Okay, why, though? Why is it why, awful? Okay, why is there, like, flames and stars and... Flames? There's flames. Flames? Where are you seeing flames? There are flames at the top of the fucking tile. Look at it. Flames. Oh, you think those are flames? There are flames, yeah. I don't know what you think flames look like, mate. But those are not flames. Okay, what are they then? It's just fucking gaudy design. That's all it is. 
Oh, it's shite design, that's what it is. Oh, it's shite design, oh. You, you, you make a fucking title, Andy. You make one. I don't see you making a fucking title. <laughs> oh, I'll make a title belt and it will be the Harambe Championship and it will just have Harambe's face all over the belt. I'm a fucking genius. <laughs> I am a fucking genius. <laughs> but no, okay. I... What Ignoring the fucking design, then, because we're not going to get anywhere by trying no, wait, to change wait, everything. No, wait, 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 I can tell you how to make it better. Oh, yeah? Put Harambe in the middle, <laughs> no, it will be better than any other belt in existence. <laughs> fucking hell, dude, I'm trying to help. I'm trying to help. You're trying to man. help me? I don't know if you are. <laughs> right, just get rid of the stars on the, on the side plates. Oh, right? oh get, get rid of the fucking stars, even though it's a stardom fucking belt, Andrew. Really? No, their them. fucking main identifier of their championships? Nah, fuck that, you don't need it. <laughs> no, Just get rid of it. it. Replace yeah, it with it. a gorilla. <laughs> no, no, the gorilla. Like, it looks like there's some sort of hexagon behind it or something, so you'd have that. And then... Oh, uh, wait, hexagon? Pentagon? Yes. Octagon? Whatever. Can Basically... you fucking count? <laughs> No. So basically, you've got you you got that. So you fix that bit. The actual main plate itself, I would have it as if you want a semicircle because you really like semicircles for some reason. How um, in the fuck is that a semicircle? It is a semicircle. It's like a semicircle with the fucking flames at the top. It's basically a it's half semicircle, half fucking. <laughs> do, you, do you know what shapes are, Andrew? I don't I, think I, you fucking I do. I think that's what we're learning from this is that you don't understand shapes. Maths was not my forte. It's got school. hexagons and pentagons and gives stars with ten sides. Zero zero. Anyway, so the point is, is I don't like it. Well, fuck you. You know what? This is a, a landmark. Fucking oh yeah, yeah. Decision. I mean, it's not taking that away from it, of course. This is a crazy thing, because for the longest time we've had the male promotions be separate from the women's promotions, run very differently, have very different aesthetics, naming conventions, etc. But now, they're starting to come together. And I think it's really good, because you're getting more Western eyes onto stardom. And stardom, oh, yeah. for the longest time, has had some of the best wrestling anywhere. It's not been very accessible, I will admit. But from what I've seen, the matches that I've seen totally legally... Not illegally nah. at all. Nah. It's been really fucking good. The character work has been amazing. Like, uh, getting on the fucking aesthetics here. They're really, really nice to look at. It's got good things there. And this is opening up doors to get people's eyes on there. I just think it's a good thing. That's all I'm saying. Regardless of what you think of the design because you're uncultured, I think it's a good idea. Wow, I'm not uncultured. Oh, you're not uncultured, are you? Oh, is that why you ranked the NXT UK belt so low as well? That's not... That's not a good belt, bruv. Well, you don't have to fucking worry about it anymore, Andrew. Do you know why? Why? Because they're merging the titles, Andrew! Hooray! Goodbye, Coming off the back title. of our uh, little discussion about NXT UK and NXT Europe and all of that shit, go listen to Off The Air again if you haven't heard it. That's another plug for you. They have decided to put NXT UK in a hiatus, and, by further extension, they are unifying the championships. Namely, the NXT Championship with the NXT UK Championship and the women's belts, the equivalent of each. So, you're going to be having the, uh, I think it's World Collide event, where you have Braun Breaker versus Tyler Bate, and then you have, weirdly, a triple threat between Mandy Rose, the NXT Women's Champion, Maiko Satomura, the NXT Women's Champion, and Blair Davenport, who you may otherwise know as B Priestley. No. Because, yeah, she, apparently she works there now. I completely missed the boat on that. <laughs> yeah, they're going to have a triple threat to unify that championship, and uh, assumedly you're going to have the tag titles also unify. So they're, they're working on just merging NXT UK back into NXT. Well, I'd like to say it was it was fun. <laughs> You'd like to say it was fun, but you in fact never watched it, so you can't say for sure if it was fun. Yeah, I I mean if uh, what I tree... want to know is what's going to happen to the Quidditch Cup. What's going to happen to that fucking round round rules fucking they're gonna, cricket they're gonna trophy? Melt, they're gonna, they're going to melt it and put it into <laughs> um, <laughs> the fucking yeah. 
They're going to melt it down, are they? They're going to use yeah, they're it for gonna parts. Yeah, they're going to melt it down uh, in, in the NXT Championship. <laughs> they're going to unify that with a North American title. What? <laughs> Basically, yeah, they're just going to pour pour it all over the title. And uh, like, they didn't go. pour tea in the harbour for them to unify that cup with the belt. What are you saying, mate? Oh, God. But you know what? I feel like this is entirely the right thing to do. Well, yeah, because at the end of the day... Let's be honest. You've never seen NXT UK, have you? I fucking live here. No. We both live here. Neither of us have seen it. What the fuck? (laughs) But I was like, I was really into the UK indie scene sort of around like 2017. Well, that's what I mean, because it only exists because it killed the independent scene in the UK. And NXT UK comes in, signs in all of the hot indie talent, and then this eventually dies because no one watched it. I feel like the pandemic had a big hand in it as well. Because they couldn't even tape shows, so for like a solid year, it was just like clip shows, I like best even, of. I wasn't even watching it before COVID was a thing. Well, no, neither was I. You can't even blame COVID on this. <laughs> like, well, no, I'm not. I'm not saying it's entirely COVID. I'm saying that COVID had a heavy hand. Like the irrelevance was the right hand. COVID was the left hand. You know. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. But I just, I feel sad for, because they released a bunch of talent as well, by the way. They released, like, Mandrews, uh, Flash Morgan Webster, uh, many others who I don't know. So, I feel bad for those guys. But maybe they'll be rehired when NXT Europe is launched, who's to say? But, for now at least, it sucks for them. Well, we'll see what happens. I mean, I, I... They may just go back to progress and and, and restart the the uh, British wrestling scene again. I mean, it would be good. We need something. <laughs> we fucking need something because we've not had anything for a long time. We're starting to rebuild it now. So, yeah, you know, I feel I feel like we're we're on the right track here. This is all gonna be good. Um, I would be very fucking surprised if Tyler Bay or Mako Satamura won those unification matches. I feel like they're coming in literally just to lose so they can just unify the belts and have done with it. Yeah, no, I really don't sounds... see either of them winning, sadly. Which is sad, because they're both really good. I, I've seen matches of both of them. So I know they are good. I'm not just they're talking out to, my arse here. They're going to mash the titles and they're going to form the greatest rainbow-looking championship you've ever seen. Oh, God. Well, to be fair, I'd prefer that than having them hold both of the belts. Oh, I've always yeah, hated but... that. Well, it was only good uh, when... The only time in history I think that the two title things ever been good was when the WWF and WCW titles merged to form the Undisputed title. Because it's like, oh, they're both titles, but then eventually... But I've, never, I've always hated the idea because you have both titles. They are unified into one fucking championship. Why are you using two belts to signify that? People don't wear two belts... People don't wear two belts, do they? Do you wear two belts on your fucking pants, Andrew? Not on my pants, on my trousers, yes. Oh, well, trousers. Oh, trousers. Oh, conviction tea. Oh, I used a different <laughs> word. Oh, we invented the language. Oh, fuck off. Put use in your fucking words. <laughs> no, I like my collar. My game is my collar. Honor. Rig of honor. I'm going to wrap this in aluminum. Tomato. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's you just said that's tomato. They... What the fuck is that? T- but that's how they say tomato. That's an accent, though. It's not a different word. Tomato. Oh, you killed it. So... I didn't kill it. What the fuck? That's how they say tomatoes. <laughs> what the fuck? It's not my fault. Tomatoes. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I love bacon, lettuce, and tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is this is more fun than talking about NXT UK. Do you well, realize? Well, this is what I mean because it's fucking shit. Do like you fucking I fucking realize. Why I can't... That's why I'm zoned out for the past ten minutes because I'm like I don't even know what you're talking about anymore. No one knows what you're who talking about. Who the fuck about. is Tyler Bray? What are you saying? <laughs> I don't know who Noam Dar is. What's a butch? <laughs> what is a butch? We <laughs> never know. That's exactly it. We don't know. Um. I don't know, should we briefly uh, should we briefly take a look at Clash at the Castle before we sign off? 
What is that? Oh, that's a pay-per-view, isn't it? It's been, uh, yeah, it's the next fucking pay-per-view, dickhead. It's the one that's it's in like, Wales. It's like the biggest pay-per-view in England's history, and I don't give a fuck. Oh, that's a shame. So Clash of the Castle is emanating from uh, Cardiff in Wales, and it will be a very big event. We've got Roman Reigns versus Drew McIntyre in a singles match for the championship. we got Liv Morgan versus Shayna Baszler, or Shayna Vader, or Shayla Blazler, how Andy would say. Uh, you've got Vader. six women tag, you've got a singles match, Riddle versus Rollins, you got Gunther versus Sheamus. Holy shit, that's going to be a fucking slapper. Literally. Oh, yeah, that'd, be a, that'd be a slappy... Match. Oh yeah, we got Clash of a Castle, and you don't give a fuck. <laughs> no, I right. don't. I do. Well, 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 here's the thing. All right, Roman Reigns is not losing. I feel like he might be. I feel like he won't. I feel like it, it might be though. Okay, in in Vince WWE, he is definitely winning. Yeah, but and this Drew... isn't Vince WWE anymore, is it? It's Hunter. Uh... Well, uh, Drew McIntyre. Uh, uh, I don't. I don't know. Then. Well, here's, a, here's well, actually what we can have a show on this, right? Because I want to talk about this shit. Drew oh, McIntyre. By, by, by the way, oh no, no, you were right. Sorry, continue. Oh, fucking great, thanks. Drew McIntyre. <laughs> Everyone has been saying that there's rumors. Because that's how it starts. Everyone says there's rumours. They don't cite a source. They just say that there's some shit happening. They have been saying that he will come out to a different theme than Clash of the Castle. So yours, now I don't know what he's doing, but I was talking about his old uh, Shaman's Harvest theme. I think that was the name of a group, Shaman's Harvest. Jim Johnston. Uh, Broken Dreams. Jim Remember Jimson. that old theme that he had like 10 years ago? Yeah. Broken Dreams, Broken Dreams. Yeah, Again, I don't know what you're doing. It's not the song. I don't know what you think you're doing, but it's not the song. That's what I'm song. doing. That's what I'm doing. No, it's not, mate. So... Really? This is what I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing. It doesn't sound like fucking music. It sounds like you're just having a fit. <laughs> just simmer down. <laughs> Everyone has been saying that he's going to come out to that theme at this event, or they've been saying that like he they really want him to come out to that theme of the event. Who right? fucking cares? <laughs> Who Cer- certainly fuck? not you. Clearly, what the fuck? I don't give a fuck if he comes out to his fucking. <laughs> I don't care. I just, I know. I just want Roman to lose, but he ain't gonna fucking lose because they want Reigns to beat Punk's record. That's what they want. That's what they want. Why don't you Wait, people get in your P- head? Beat Punk's record. Yes, they want to beat CM Punk's record of fucking the the the, the championship fucking reign days. The, 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 I think Punk's still first. Roman's no. second. Is no, he's not. What? Do you, do you mean just the WWE Championship? Yes. Even then, I don't think he's first still. I'm almost certain they've had someone else go over. Are you sure? Let me double check this, because I'm almost well, certain. I, I, maybe, maybe. Because I we know that Roman's that, held so. the fucking Universal title for 700 more days. You know how long ago he fucking has held that for? He beat Bray Wyatt for it. That's how long he's fucking held that for. Uh, well, that's weird. He's had it for like over 700 days, but no, I'm almost fucking certain that that championship, the WWE championship, has had someone other than Punk hold it for longer more recently. Okay, so Punk had it for 454 Oh, 34, sorry, yeah, 434, yeah. yeah. So what's, what's the Roman reign on? Roman uh, Reigns on Roman Reigns. The Roman what Reign is... of Roman Reigns is on. Yeah. I don't know what it's on. It won't tell me. Uh, what the fuck is it on? Uh, it won't say. Uh, he's in his fourth reign, and it is currently 144. What? Yeah, he's had it for 144 days. 144 As of today. days. Yeah. How? Because he won it at WrestleMania. 
What are you confused about? <laughs> what are you talking about? He had he's had the universal title. In... No, not the fucking universal. This is why I hate when we unify the titles. Because oh, you're talking about one you. title, but it's two titles. I'm oh, fucking talking God. about the WWE Championship. Right, whatever the fight, the blue one. How long has he had the fucking blue one for? The blue one versus the WWE. Who fucking? Just, it's fucking stupid that they fucking went with the blue title and called it the universe. That's the shit one that no one fucking likes. That sounds fucking moronic. That is the one they fucking kept. What is wrong with these stupid cunts? Why are you why so angry? Oh my god, why are you so angry? We're talking about belts. I hate the universe. They're just fucking title. belts. I just hate it. I, I've hated it since the fucking beginning. It was red and ugly and Mick Foley's stupid fucking... Miss fucking I love Foley, but the segment was shit and the belt is shit and fuck I hate that title. Okay, okay, slow your roll. He's held the universal title as of today for seven hundred and twenty four days. Seven hundred days? Yeah, seven hundred and twenty four days. He won it on August thirtieth, of twenty twenty. Alright, that's longer than Punk then, God's sake. So two years basically. <laughs> I can't see him losing it yet. Well here's the thing though. Like, they've been rumouring that they want to split the championships because of USA being unhappy with the fucking state of the world title scene. They don't have a world champion on their show. What the fuck's going on? I feel well, like yeah. they're going to split at least one of the titles away from Roman and give it to Drew somehow. Here's, here's a wonderful idea. I'm just going to chuck this out there. Ooh, wonderful okay. idea. Yeah? How about mm? you just get rid of the brand split? Well, technically, they kind of have. Okay. Like, pay-per-views aren't single-branded anymore. Well, completely get rid of it. Just be gone. Be done with it. Just not not this weird quasi, we've got a brand split bullshit. Just get rid of it. Or stick to it. Just fucking stick to the brand split. You can't have it both ways. You either don't have a brand split, or you fucking do. You go full fucking 2016. And you just have the two different fucking brands. Have a pay-per-view every two weeks. Whilst everyone fucking cries about it like it's a big actual problem. Or you don't. You just have everyone fight for all the belts. You've got enough of them anyway. And just unify the world titles. Just do it again. Fuck it. Done it like twice before. What's a third time? Well, yeah. What is the problem? And I'm at Bombshell. I feel like that's a good place to leave it off. Yes, so I may watch this event because it's on a. Oh shit! You know what? The only plus side of this event is it's on it's a Saturday. Really... Oh my god! Is it? It's not on at one a.m. though, is it? It's on a Saturday. Actually, when is it? No, it's not going to be one a.m. You fucking idiot! They've got an audience full of fucking people. It's going to be what, like eight p.m. Maybe I don't know actually. Because is that okay? One p.m. Eastern, which is six o'clock over here. Hey! Hey! hey. There you go. Let's watch it watch together. It hey! Let's watch yeah. it together. You know what? Should we do a live stream and watch it live? Yeah, fuck it. There you go. <laughs> I'm like, oh, <laughs> that's how we oh, announce wait. shit. Do you want to do no, this? No, wait, no, wait, yeah. wait. I don't know. I don't know if we're doing it yet. Wait, don't announce it yet because I don't know what I'm doing. Well, cause... fucking, we'll figure what? it out. Do the outro. Sit- September 3rd. I don't know what I'm doing there. Okay, so thank you very much for, for listening to the Super. I have been Andy Kwan. You can go to the thing, linktree.com slash the Super. You can find our links to many other things that we have. Sam, say goodbye. Goodbye. And uh, that was a train wreck. Yes, not like, that was a train like wreck, Woodstock. Andy. Well, not like Jesus Woodstock, Christ, you're never going to get this right, are you? But that's the charm of the show, I think. Oh, is it a charm? Are you sure that's the right mm. word? Yes, everybody just keeps coming back for more. No, they more, don't. More quanisms, more <laughs> quanic We dose. know they don't. Why are you lying? <laughs>